Hey guys, my name is Jordan. Welcome to the channel. Guys, I am so excited. This is my reaction to the new Martin 00016 that just came out. Now, the video that I saw was posted yesterday, I believe, and I just found them on the Martin website on Sweetwater. They are the newest thing. They are cool looking. Let's talk about them. So if you guys don't know about the, the Street Master series, it's essentially an all solid mahogany or mahogany type wood guitar that Martin has been producing for, I think close to four or five years now, maybe a little bit more than that. And they are really cool looking. They look like they're aged, but it's artificial aging. It's, um, you know, an all solid mahogany guitar, which is what the 15 series would have been the dreadnoughts and the triple O's and they have a GPC, which is the grand, uh, performance. And then they have a DSS model that they used to make that was essentially a jumbo style uh, body that Martin kind of took the inspiration from another acoustic guitar design. And so that was up to this point, the Street Master series. Now the newest edition and why I'm super excited about it is it is a triple O with Adirondack spruce top that has been artificially aged. So torification is the process where they pull a bunch of the moisture out of it. And then they um, added a rosewood back and sides to this thing. And it looks super cool. I've never played one. I, you know, maybe never will, but I think they're super cool. They come in right around two grand. So let's talk over the specs really quick. 24.9 inch scale length, bone nut and saddle on it. 14th fret, so um, that just means that the neck connects to the body at the 14th fret instead of the 12th fret on a lot of smaller finger style specific guitars. But these are really cool guitars. They do not come with a pickup, so that's a little bit of a bummer because when you think about a guitar like that, you'd think that you'd probably want to play it like in a live scenario. Like that was kind of their inspiration was these older guitars that have been beat up for years and years and years because people played them out live. So not sure why they didn't spring for a pickup in that, not my decision, I would have done that, but I think they're super cool. So all that being said, I've said about 50 times that they're super cool. My reaction to them, I don't think this was a necessary or even asked for product in any of Martin's lineup. So in the past, Martin has actually discontinued the DSS Street Master um, which is one of the ones that I thought about getting a while ago, but they did discontinue that. So honestly, I don't potentially see this being around in a couple of years. I think this one will phase out and I'm not trying to be, you know, a pessimist about it. I just don't think they'll last because I think their core 15 series, keeping the prices a little bit lower on them. And because they were a very specific guitar, they were an all mahogany guitar. They looked cool aged. They were just a very specific thing. Hey, so future me here, this is the day after I recorded everything else and gave my initial reaction. I realized that statement about being discontinued, they've got a pretty good shot of actually lasting because they can market these to singer songwriters because Spruce and Rosewood is a pretty typical, uh, you know, wood choice for the singer songwriter who is just one guitar and one vocal. So thought I'd throw that in there. Back to the video. I think trying to step outside that boundary, this is maybe testing the waters to see if they should do a dreadnought style of this, um, because obviously it's going to cost more money because you have to have larger materials to do dreadnoughts and stuff like this. I think that's testing the waters to see if a Rosewood Adirondack Streetmaster um, dreadnought would actually sell. So I personally don't think that these are going to necessarily take off, but I do think they are super cool. So if you guys uh, would like to see one on the channel, just let me know down below. I don't know if I'll be able to make that happen, but I would really like to because I've always wanted triple O and I think they are amazing looking. Like I would love to have one of these street masters. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you much. We'll see you next time.